Welcome, welcome, welcome to story time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is called Please Louise. And if you look, she's wearing a raincoat. And if you see very closely on my um, uh, balcony here, you see it just rains. So I'm out in between rains to tell the story. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay. Please Louise, please, please, please. Things are not always what they seem. If you are sometimes lonely or sometimes sad, know that the world is big, but not so bad. Very true. So she's going out for the day. The sky is gray now, but not for long. After the rain, birds break into song. Please, Louise, please, please, please. There's nothing hiding in those trees. <laughs> Oh, there's a man playing harmonica. Don't scurry too fast and miss the music of the street. You may be, be surprised by who or what you need. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's got her little wagon. You frown at the yard where that old car is parked and shrink from the sound of the little dog's bark. That dog doesn't look too little. He looks kind of big. Is that house really haunted, or does it just need care? Why not imagine the joy that used to be there? Oh, that's a unique way to think about it. Is that a junkyard or a dangerous trap where ghosts live and monsters nap? Scary thoughts are your creation when you have no information. Oh, so true. Sheets of rain, black clouds, thunder. Hurry, find a roof to get under. Is that a bird of prey from which you'd better better run? Or an eagle of gold when touched by the sun? Oh, so there's the big bird. Oh, a library of shelter from any storm. In that place, you are never alone. These books are loyal friends, helping you explore, dream, discover, think, learn, and know much, much more. Yes, books are wonderful. That's why I love doing story time with you, because some of the books I've been reading, I just think they're all just in, like, magical and beautiful and wonderful. It's nice to share them with you. Imagination is an open door. Step in here and let it soar. Nice. Venice is a city that sits in the sea when pirate ships sail the ocean lanes. Dolphins are the most social. The princess sat weeping in her chamber. J Juno, the lion club, was lost and he could not find his mother. So those are all the different places she went while reading some books. See, little girl, this is your world. So smile a while as the stories unfurl, where beauty and wonder cannot hide, because re reading books is a pleasing God. Oh. Fear and sadness, where did they go? Louise doesn't care. Louise doesn't know. Because now she's happy. She can understand what she feels, since books can teach and please Louise. Look at the dog looking at her. It's so adorable. And there she is reading at home in her little window nook. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I so hope you enjoyed that story. Until next time with me, Michelle. you keep turning your light back. Bye for now.